there's gonna be like some sort of tool to get those things. Excuse me, what now? How's it going, everybody? I am the left handed dude, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the very first installment of Game Jolt Gems. So, the premise of the whole thing is we're going on Game Jolt, which is an indie developer website. We're finding new games, and we're gonna play them. You know, maybe we'll find the next big thing. So, the first game that we're gonna do is called Levels of Ascending, Levels of Descending, English, created by Eternum Valet. Eternum Vale, Eternum Valley. I'm so sorry, I can't pronounce names or words. <laughs> but first, we must hydrate for power. <laughs> ah! Levels of descending. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Take a look at your hands. I don't know. They they seem fine to me. I will. Oh, oh. Do I just take it out? Do, oh, uh. There's a little, uh, there's a little cigarette butt here, though. Some footsteps. This, this is, this place is dirty. I also don't know what's the premise of the... <laughs> Let's run away. <laughs> we all remember those times. Okay, announcement. We have to inform you. We have to inform you. Inform me of what? So this, this looks beautiful. This is beautiful. Okay, I suppose we're just going down the stairs, right? Although, you know what? No. No. Screw the system. The game is called Levels of Descending. I'm gonna go up. Oh. Why can I pull things out ever so slightly? Another beautiful painting. That's a cow. Moo! Hey, neighbor. Should I get some milk? <laughs> I will stop. I will shut up forever. I, I, I don't know. Nothing is happening. Uh, should I go down? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. All right, we'll go down. This is the 12th floor. Oh, there we go. Dear tenants, we very much regret to say that. We very much regret to say that. <sighs> I very much regret reading that. Is anybody home? Oh, shit. I can try doors. Am I just trying to find an apartment to rob? Is this the, <laughs> is this the premise of the game? Am I just trying to rob people? Trash shoot. Hey. Very immersive. Oh, there's a firefly. Ding dong. Trick or treat, it's not hello. <gasps> can I look in the <gasps> can I look in the peepholes? No? Okay, never mind. <laughs> Tra there's a trash chute right there. Whoever lives here is an ass. Am I supposed to solve some kind of puzzle here? Am I just failing at the game like instantaneously? It would not surprise me. Uh hello everyone. 2115. May we take this opportunity of thanking you for this way me may me take this opp okay. Yeah, okay. There's a bunch of numbers. Not sure yet if the numbers. Wait. That's not how floor numbers work, sir. I'm going downstairs. Dang it. Well, now I want to go and check what's upstairs. Hold on. Be right back. Wait, this is 19? What? <laughs> Are the numbers random? This is 12. What? Wait, does it change? The way the numbers go based on, like, where I'm going? This is 20 now. <gasps> it does? Oh, this is weird. I'm sure we've seen this door before. Is this a way to sort of see what floor we've been on? Because 21 now, then, like, we've taken a paper out. Ooh, and there's a little thing here. Oh. Tape. We got tape, yo. Yeah. I believe I have your tape, sir. We very much regret to say that. Okay. A lot of regret going on here in this apartment building. Oh, this the the thing again. Something's supposed to happen. This is getting kind of creepy. I guess I just don't know what to expect. Should I just ring on every door? Hello? I'm here to sell you Girl Scout cookies. I am very much confused. I mean the numbers are progressing for sure. I I have I'm very I'm very much confused. Is there something there? That just trash. I see you in there. The. Uh, I just feel like we're just some bratty kid, just in an apartment complex, just ringing on everybody's door, just causing havoc. Oh, can I? I can't open this. What's up? Uh, I am hearing noises. I think somebody might be might be getting pretty pissed off that I'm just ringing on every door here. 
Whoa. I am getting some serious goose bumpage here. I feel like we're slowly descending into madness. Okay, here's another bunny thing. Lost, please call. <laughs> I am so confused. Oh! Yo! That's a key. How do we get the key? Can we get the key? How do we... Can we use the tape? Can we... No, hold on. I, that, there's a key. I want that. I want I want the key. How, how can I... Oh, do I need to find, like, uh, like a screwdriver or something? You know, you know? Okay, so there's a key on level 32. I guess we'll have to remember that, question mark? Because, like, I assume, because there was a bunny this thing, that it's this clearly locked, so with that key, I'm, assu I'm assuming that, uh, we would be able to get it. So we just have to find some sort of a tool. Yeah, like this. So I'm assuming if we had the bunny key, then we'd be... So, I'm assuming that on different floors we could find like different items so i'm pretty sure that in one of these trash chutes on one of the floors there's gonna be like some sort of tool to get those things excuse me what now that's a little loud there it's a little loud i'm not i'm not gonna lie that's a little loud i am very much confused also, we could- oh, oh, we haven't been checking these at all. I didn't know that's a thing. We might find a key under one of these? There might be the slight possibility of... that you have to solve the puzzle before you get too far down. I feel like horrible things are coming just by the piercing, never-ending screech of hell. Well, as I understand, like- oh, there we go. Boom. That's a key. Okay, is that a key for... Okay, so, okay, so we found a key under the Firefly symbol. So I'm assuming that this... There we go, yes, what did we get? Wait, can I... Oh, there we go. I am waiting. If there is no light, then I cannot see you. Two doorbells, one doorknob, one doorbell, one doorknob. It's very sharp, so be careful. So we're probably gonna get, like, a knife or something to cut open the little thing, right? But I'm assuming that it's just gonna get more horrible and horrible as we go down. As we go further down. I am correct. Where have we seen the cow symbol again? It was just on the door, right? This is the bunny, so this should be where the key is. Is, is that also correct? Yeah, that is also correct. So it just repeats, just getting more and more increasingly more horrifying. So, okay, cow, there we go. Is that a code to open this particular door? Okay, if there is no light and I cannot see you, two doorbells, one doorknob. One doorbell, one doorknob. It's very sharp, so be careful. Okay, so one, two, one, one, one. No? No? Is that not it? Oh, wait, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it. Wait, you know what I mean? Hold on. Yeah! <laughs> if there's no light, if, no, if I can't see you, right? Yeah, and I cannot see you. There we go. So now it is one, two, one, one, one. Yeah, there we go. Boom. You know what? We're not doing that shabby. So let's stick the paper up here. Let's use the knife, or the this thing. We grab the key. And then we need to find the bunny, the bunny electric thing. If I would have figured this out earlier, we could have avoided all of this horribleness. There we go. And we get a screwdriver. What do we need the screwdriver for? I feel like the trash chute is the sort of last thing that we haven't used with anything. Or, well, well that and the elevator thing. Oh, look at that, it's a kitty! This, is, this music is just getting horrible. Like, horribly horrible. Wait, what is this? Oh, what is this? Oh, what is that? Wait, what did we pick up? What is... It's a plug. Okay. 
I almost feel like we can unscrew this. Wait, hold on. No? Because there's something in the trash chute. It looks electronic. Just feels like we might be able to. But maybe we're looking for like a different type of chute. Because it seems very obvious that that would just be like another thing. Because I would assume that the last goal of the game is to get like the whatever electronic piece fits here so we can get on the elevator and escape this hellhole. Oh god, this music, man. Ah! It's very fitting. Because the game is called Level of Descent. Or Descending. And, uh, yeah. I, I definitely feel my sanity doing that. It is descending rapidly. Ah, oh, why do I feel like we're just missing something real stupid? Because legit, like, that looks like some electronic part. Are there some hidden messages here? Some letters are capital? E... We... E W E H. Well, I know there's something with this trash chute. I just can't figure it out. Is this this has this kind of has screws, right? Oh wait, wait, hold on. Am I being am I've been dumb this whole time? I've been dumb this whole time. God damn it! Why does that not surprise me? All right, so now this is gonna be the electronic part, right? So this, and now we push the button in there. Yes? Boom? Yes? Yes? Did we do the thing? Did we... Did we do good? Did we do good? Is something gonna come after me? Uh... Is there something else I need? Did I have to put it on a specific floor? What is going on? What if I cut the wires? <laughs> what the hell? Uh, oh wait, do I need to tape up the wires? Do I need to- well, dang it. Can I- Oh, please. <gasps> yes, I need to tape up the wire. Don't do that to me. Okay, close it. Elevator. <gasps> oh my god, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. We did it. Oh my god. <laughs> it only took us 64 floors of slowly descending into madness. Well, there we go. <laughs> That was Levels of Descending, <laughs> very first game of the new series called Game Jolt Gems. I had to say, like, I, I love pl I love puzzle games personally, so it was a lot of fun just sort of figuring out, like, what do you have to do and sort of figuring out, like, what correlates with what clue. And I understand the whole process of, like, you know, descending sanity, and that's why the noises got so, so like, weird and creepy. It did get a little bit annoying towards the end there, but that's also my fault, because I didn't <laughs> didn't understand what I have to do for so long. It's a sh nice, short puzzle game with a very creepy atmosphere. If I would have anything to add, I probably would have done a bit more visual changes as we progressed further down in the levels. So, like, maybe if... Some of the, the crazy audio effects were substituted by more, like, visual effects. Maybe some glitches, maybe, I don't know, maybe some blood splatters. I, would have, I was really expecting for first, like, A, the pictures to get creepier, and second, for the text to change on those things. For the text to just, like, become, like, more and more deranged. Like, I thought that could have been a really cool thing to implement. But, I don't know, this game is only four days old. The developer may still update it. If you want to check it out, I'll leave a link down in the description below. Go play, play it for yourself and follow, follow the developer. And we'll see if there's going to be any updates for this game down the line. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.